Hello. No, that's Medea. Hang on. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Hello. Jennifer Lopez. Or no. Hello. Welcome to I'm a Char. In my hermer sexual opinion. <laughs> I'm Auntie Churn. I'm Darby Babe, so no. And um We're so happy to be here today for Drag Race Down. Under. under. Down under. Under, under. Speaking of down under, I see you're nursing something down under the right teat. Oh, you mean my koala? You're a beautiful koala. Oh, thank you so much. I... I know that there's been a lot of turmoil in the world, okay? And I'm not saying that I have it worse off than most people. Mm. But I will say I have it pretty bad. For those of you who don't know, my daughter, Dolly Parton, she's eight years old, she has huge tits. Giant knockers. Eight years old because she was born on a leap day. So she's eight years in leap, in leap years, but she's actually 32. Mm -hmm. oh, it's really hard for me to talk about. Oh, 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 baby. No, it's okay, it's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. So at the end of the summer last summer, we were stuck inside all summer, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And our um, tensions were high. Okay, Dolly was not doing well. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, let's, let's have a treat. So we went to a petting zoo and um, nine months later, here we are. Mm -hmm. So this is actually my granddaughter. This take is, a good look um, at her. This is Raina, hang on. Her neck is still, uh, we're still debating. Oh! This is Raina. Oh. Isn't she beautiful? She has your big, beautiful uh, eyes. Thank you. She has the last Two sets. She has two sets. Four so, eyes. I know this looks like a costume, but this is her skin. She is... Uh, Dolly did fuck a koala. Can, can I... Um... Yes, of course. She doesn't... No, she's... So koalas, they don't really like to show emotion. So she doesn't. Let me see this. Let me peel this back. Oh! It starts no, back it, here. Yeah, well, it does. Uh, it's because she's learning how to grow her hair and move her neck. I, did, I learned on TikTok. The only news source I trust. Koalas are stupid. Did you know that? Are they stupid? They're I know stupid. they're slow. They're stupid. Why? They eat eucalyptus leaves mm. off trees, right? Love that scent. But if you see a koala, like like my precious Raina, and you offer her eucalyptus leaves on a plate, she won't eat it. Do you know why? Why? She doesn't know what it is. Because it's not attached to the tree, she can't recognize it as food. Mmm. And you know what they don't what they eat when they they're not in a tree? Dirt. Dirt. Oh my god, stupid. Yeah. So I'm not saying that like I'm holding the next like smart what? Smart person? <laughs> I think she might lack object permanence for the rest of her life. She won't but... blink. Well, Koala's She's staring don't... directly into this light right here. They don't have to blink because she's like, what is that? She's taking it in. She's so... trying to get to the light. <laughs> she's gonna get to the light, Raina. She wants to go so bad. I hope she's not imbued with anything evil. Look at her eyes, of course she does. <laughs> There's nothing there! There's nothing there! Okay, I know we said we would just like, go on with the show and just like, wait, but is Alexis coming? Oh yeah, where's this one? I have told, I told you I've tried to call her like, oh. multiple times. I was like, it's a little colder on this side now. <sighs> She's usually just keeping me warm with her We literally set breath. the time an hour and 21 minutes ago as when we would start filming. I'm not saying it's her fault. I'm just saying she it's all her. because of her. Oh my god, hello? Alexis, hey, uh -huh. are you uh, are you coming to record tonight? Yeah, well, I just got off the plane. Gosh, that was a long flight. You're at uh, O'Hare? Are you? Are you at O'Hare or Midway? You're I'm flying in. I just got here. We're recording. We're, we're recording at the studio, right? You called. You got in contact with your Paul and. Wait, wait, wait. Are you at O'Hare or Midway? Why are huh? you at the airport? Which which airport are you at right now? I'm at I'm at Australia I'm at Australia International Jeff Lopez Airport. I just got here. Where are you guys? I thought you. Were what, what are you class. doing at JLA? What <laughs> the famous JLA? Are you are you really in Australia? Yeah, you guys. We said we were all going to go for the premiere. We were going to record at the the. Um, the museum, the Louvre, or whatever. You, the, uh, the, you the said office. that. Did we confirm that? No. Said, Did you huh? buy a, a plane ticket without asking? Now, us? are you hard of hearing? Or are you dumb? Ooh, that was really. Are hard. you a koala? 
wait a minute. No, I just used I just used the company credit card. I didn't think you would mind. Okay, so that's not a company credit card. That is a rewards card for a Froyo shop. Don't tell, don't tell, tell me Novato. Did okay. you use all the flight points that we had loaded up? On that Froyo card? <laughs> on that Froyo card. Well, yeah, I thought, I thought, I Do you know how much frozen yogurt we had to eat? <laughs> and we're lactose intolerant. It still hurts. What are you saying to me? Are you not in Australia? We're in Chicago, you idiot. <gasps> okay. Oh. No. Forget it. Forget it. You probably didn't even watch the episode anyway. You were on a plane ride that was like three days long, and I guarantee you, you didn't even watch the episode. Did you watch the episode? Tell me one thing that happened on the episode. Um, there was... I... You can't tell right now, but Dolly Parton is so upset. So upset. <laughs> Raina. It's Raina. Raina. Dolly is oh. her daughter. Oh. That's okay. She didn't hear it. She's an idiot. <laughs> You're stupid. Okay, Alexis, uh, we're going through a yeah. tunnel. Bye. What the fuck? She fucking bailed on us. Well, I, you know what? I don't care. That's more room for us. It's more room for us. And see. also, oh. we've already got one koala idiot. I don't want a second. Stupid baby. Stupid baby. Okay, you were giving fun animal facts. Okay, so a uh, friend of the show, Miss Tartar, yes. uh, is also a marine biologist. We need to get Miss Tartar on the show sometime. She said that she Wait. wanted to get in on it oh, for the snacks. What? She, She's a marine biologist? She, yeah, she went to school for marine biology. She is also a bodybuilder and well, same. a we car, a, 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 she, she does so much. Yes, she does. Um, she has a picture a week. Uh, she, she always has a, picture, a new She's always working. Picture. Yeah. Instagram is so intimidating, but not to her. No. She says, that's okay, I'll just take the Well, she's a bodybuilder. That's true. What can scare her? Yeah. And she says that marine animals, she says that marine animals are horny and disgusting. So, fun facts about Sharks. There you go. Well, Dolly Parton can't meet any of those animals. I can't do a baby dolphin human. Not, not, not in this kind. I can't have a horny child. So, Chan. Yeah. It has been a week. We did something kind of fun this week. We sure did. We did the IMHO Geo Party. Uh, Geo Party. The I Geo like Party. That. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. The Discord Patreon Discord IMHO Jeopardy game. Mm -hmm. How? Fun was that. It was so much fun. It was also Alexis's birthday. It was kind of a, a slash birthday event as well. Yeah. It was just so great to see all of those faces. Beautiful, beautiful faces. Yes. First of all, all of our patrons are beautiful and perfect, mm -hmm. which is crazy mm -hmm. because like, usually I'm intimidated by that, but I actually like it a lot. What's even crazier is it was trivia about the show and they knew these Everything. trivia facts down to the episode, down to the season, down to... Y'all. Okay, for real though, like down to the Jeopardy categories where they were playing this this game and we're just watching Which, because we didn't even know the answer. No. And it'd be like, finish the quote. And I was like, I didn't say that. And then they'd play the clip and I was like, I guess I said I that. guess I said that. And then they, like, literally they asked a question like, what, what did, somebody did this on this, on, on an episode once. Tell us. The show that they were reviewing, the season and the episode And then do it in an accent. And do it in an accent. Do it in the accent that we did. Crazy. Yeah. I need them available in a court of law whenever I'm under scrutiny, and I need them to Well, they're to not going to be like, able oh, to help you. That, that. They'll be like, I don't know how what she did exactly, but in episode <laughs> four of season 12, she did fart. She did fart at this second, yes. Which might that actually does. help, depending on what that, you did. That will yeah. actually will release yeah, me from... That will. Um, my insecurities most importantly so we do want to thank the people who organized it yes of course peter wonderful mm -hmm. melena i don't think i'm saying your Japan. name right i don't think i'm saying your name right. melena uh, if i'm saying your name wrong you'll correct me right yes G give us the proper uh, pronunciation i think i've already asked and she's already given it to me and i just you know, i have a quality melena, melena, melena. she in japan did it. It was like seven or eight in the she morning. She's so adorable. Adorable. I'm sorry. You're you're fine. Yeah, but you. Malin is so adorable because throwing confetti and like she had a full setup. Set up. Full setup. Love. So, to be fair, so did Peter. But the person who really put their heart and soul into it, who really phoned it in when it comes to decorations. They did not have a full setup. And I'm not saying like it was a bad thing. I'm just saying it wasn't a But it a was good our thing. faces in the background. You saw that one. Oh yeah, I did actually. Mm -hmm, so. Oh shit, I'm being an asshole. That's okay. She expects that from me. It's Paola, of course. So thank you, Paola, Melina, and Peter. 
gosh. That was an out of body experience. Paula's song uh, to conclude, uh, which if y'all have seen the conclusion to Alexis the, Meets. The Danny, Danny video, yeah. Phoebe Bridgers, pack your bags because we got a new indie artist Paula in town. Paula wrote it and sang it. Yes. Crazy. Beautiful voice. And it was about Danny, so I immediately was like, I'm gonna hate this. And then by the end, I was like, I hope it's real. Paula, heartbreaker. Star. Mm. I know you're gonna write a song about someone someday, and it's going to destroy me. Yeah. And that's And possibly their own life. <sighs> I'd watch that. It was an emotional experience. It was a fun spiritual experience. Yes. It was great to see all those. I, I'm just so thankful, and I'm, I feel so unworthy. Like, I just, the, the amount of love and support for this, like, for this. I just feel so unworthy. I just, I'm so Fix your face. Humble. Fix your Here, face, because we're having a moment. Fix your face. Her face. There we go. She, well, because she was still staring at the light. Because it looked, here. It's searing her. No, I get it. <laughs> She looks worried now. Wait, how does she change her expression? This is alarming me. Now, when I was a kid, I used to stare directly at the sun because I wanted to wear glasses so badly. So I understand her story. <gasps> no, you didn't. I sure did. And I'm also, I have photosynthetic sneezing reflexes. So anytime I sneeze, my mom would flick me and be like, stop staring at the sun. <laughs> Your mom had to flick you to stop you from staring glasses at the sun. Glasses were so cool to me. I wanted... You can wear them without a prescription. I didn't know that. I can't have a baby now. I wouldn't know what to do. If my baby was constantly staring at the sun and I couldn't get it to stop, I don't know what you to know do. You know what, sadly, it's not an uncommon thing to do, to stare directly at the sun. Oof. It's it's insane behavior, but- Here, she's gonna stare at this light. But when you realize it's the source of all life, sun, people yeah. worship it. Yeah, uh, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Can I share something with you? And then we'll get to the episode. We're like almost 30 minutes in. Oh my God. I found out something this week that I can't stop thinking about, talking about, and no one else seems concerned. The mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio, oh, God. dropped a groundhog on Groundhog's Day, and it died. Are all mayors cartoon villains? Th okay, close your eyes. Okay, close your eyes, close your eyes. Okay. Think, like, even if you're, if you're driving, this is your time. <laughs> Listen to this sentence okay. and really focus on the words. And then I want to know what you think about this, okay? It's audiobook. Huh? Let's do it. The mayor of New York City dropped a groundhog on Groundhog's Day and it died. How do you feel? I want to kill that mayor. Right? Oh! I, I mean, no, don't, we don't choose violence oh, in no, this no, house. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't. We do sometimes. We, we do, do sometimes. It's blowing my mind, and I called my brother, because I call my brother whenever anything blows my mind, because Jesus, he can ground me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, I mean, mayors suck. But do you, ex yeah, I expect mayors to suck, right? Yes, like Lori Lightfoot, she's a, she's a piece of shit, yes. right? The worst. I expect her to be mean to the people she works for, <laughs> of course. But having a mayor kill a groundhog? And, oh, it died later of its injuries. Now, I don't know if Lori watches this show, but can I say a little something about Lori? Oh, maybe? sure, sure, sure. Okay, I have a friend. I'm gonna turn her back. Her neck, we're still working out the kinks in her <laughs> neck. Cause they don't, you know, they don't have necks in Australia. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we talk about this? Oh, show? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Drag Race Dananda. Basically, the entrance looks we already talked about mm -hmm. on our Australia Meet the Queen. So if you, not Australia, Down Under, because New Zealand. Down Under. On our Down Under Meet the Queen. So if you would like to hear what we thought in detail mm -hmm. of the outfits, you could certainly go and check that out. But we did get to see them in action, mm -hmm. which did change yes. some some outfits. It, it gives us impressions. We also yes. saw them out of drag for the first time in the confessionals. Yes, Very important too. Yes, we did. You know, get to know the artist behind the art. Yes. Speaking of, the first person to walk into the workroom is Art Simone. Oh my God. Brilliant. Stunning, gorgeous, brilliant. So cute. So cute. His talking head. So look cute. At that face. Look at that face. 28 years old. To already have so much success. So young. A 28. 28 years old. 20, no, that's. Brilliant. Is that 28? 28, 28. 28 years old. You know what we have to do? Should we pause this and go watch Crocodile Dundee? I'm glad you said that. 
Adorable. Adorable. Cute. Cute. Great first impression. Wonderful. I'm already in love. Yep. I'm already obsessed with the art. Yep. Up next, we had Maxi Shield. Maxi Shield is 48 years old from Sydney, Australia. Already obsessed. Already obsessed. Obsessed. Big hubba bubba, mammy jammy mama knockers. Giant mommy milkers. Big mommy milkies. Mommy milkies. Mommy mommy milkers. milkers. Loved. And you know what? From the picture to real life, I enjoyed it more in real life. Mm -hmm. I, I just thought it was very clear to me who she was as a drag queen, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. She's giving me that classic camp. Classic camp with the confidence. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I was I was so happy she was there. I like a queen with a little bit of delusional confidence because that's what this is all yes. about, right? Like That's why we do drag. We can go crazy, go stupid, because none of this is real. No. We're allowed to do this. Ugh. Anyway. Well, technically, we're not allowed to do this in certain places, and no. not just because of God. Shall we get into our next person? Yeah. Jojo Zaho came in with the look that we already... Discussed. She's our Aboriginal queen. Mm -hmm. We saw the look. We've already talked about the look. In person, that look is so, like, dynamic, right? Like, you get hit with it, and you're like, ooh! But she walked in, and she was like, hi. <laughs> right? I wanted a little more. I said, come on, Jojo. Yeah, huh? What you wanted her to do? Go Hi, and y'all. Hi. I don't know. So, Sorry, JB. Sorry. So Sorry. You're going to wake up the baby. Oh, no. She's been, she's awake physically. Oh, she's fully. But I don't know where she I is see mentally. I see the black in her eye. Yeah. And she has blue eyes. So I don't know how that got there. You're such a good mother. Jojo's the hoe. Cute out of drag, too. Very cute. Very out cute out of drag. Very cute. Up next, we had Electra Shock, 28 years old, from Auckland, New Zealand. Now, this is down under, so it's New down Zealand under. as well. Yes, of course. Came in. Now, everyone was talking about that wig. <laughs> okay. They went in on that wig. They were so mean. It was a storyline. It was. A it common storyline, common thread. Common Which, frizzle thread, but yes. You're a drag queen, you're on TV, and you're, you know, you're on a competition, so maybe you're trying to psych them out. But they, like, especially art, like, never gave up. And, like, sure, would I make fun of her in the wild? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But on TV? Probably. Now, did they prompt them? Did they ask them during the sit-down interview? Now, that wig. How do you feel about, pulls up the image, this wig? Like everyone had it. Do you think they had to wig. pull up an image? Because I'm pretty sure that stuck with them. It probably Sing it in person. I said on our Meet the Queens that I did not enjoy her look, and in person, I stand by my statement. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoyed her personality and mm -hmm. her talking head. I really did enjoy her. Yeah. The person. The person. And also, yeah. out of drag, very charming. Very charming. Sweet little charmer. Sweet little uh, pecs. Oh. Mm. I like them. Is that all it takes these days? Yes, honestly. Really? Yeah. Everyone wants a booby in the mouth. Yeah. My favorite type of peck, thank you for asking, is a peck that was like really defined and muscular, but then... But it starts right here. Got a little... Yes, of course. It's got to start right there. Oh, it's got to... I got to see the side. Mm -hmm. And then they had kids, so they gained a little dad bod, and so it has like a layer of fat over the muscle. I think that is so nice. Everyone needs if that's winners. you, give me a send call. pics. Send pics. Send pics. Send pics. Pex pics. Scarlett Adams, 27 years old from Perth, Australia. A lot of Perth finality here. Too. Yes, I love the. I love that they kept making those jokes about Perth. It was and they good. kept saying Perthin. That's good. That's good. It's a lith. I love it. They love a lith. They love a lith. They love a lith. Lith was Which like we do too. Coming. We do too. We love kimchi. We love candy. We love anyone struggling to speak. Fashion. The fashion. It was fashion. Yeah. It was, but was it fashion? It was fashion. Can I just say, in the Meet the Queens, we heard all of the things about her past, specifically, mm. and the, the racist decisions made that she made. Mm. I tried to look it up <clears throat> on the internet, tried to just feel it out and see how people were feeling. Mm. And she did apologize and people seem, some people seem to be okay with it, some don't. So for the sake of, of this show, we're just going to try and talk about them as a contestant in the show, since they're still on mm -hmm. the show. And we will, as things develop, we will comment. Is that safe to say? That's very safe. We're always looking for an apology with actionable steps. Yes. Of course, this is something that we yes. are learning. And as long as they are learning... We will just discuss their art. The Karen from Binance thing, it seems like she made an apology beforehand and like 
had already started to take the steps to like fix the get her tattoo covered mm -hmm. up and stuff. So people seem to be a lot more comfortable with her. But yeah, I'm still not sure. But Scarlet's on the show, so Scarlet, okay, and we have to see. Yeah, we'll we see. We will see. We will see. No disrespect, Matt. Mm -mm. Whatsoever. Up next, Coco Jumbo from Sydney, Australia, 29 years old. Can I just say, the face. The face. The face. She is the face of Down Under. She... The face. Can you imagine? The skin. You walk in, you're Coco Jumbo. You see Art Simone, and you think, you may be a good makeup artist, but you can never be this. Right? You can never have this face. You can never have this face. It's... And her teeth... Her teeth were, are... Oh, oh my god. She's Gorge from... The Meet the Queens, we said she was pretty, we liked the picture, but seeing that face move makes all the difference. Is it the glitter? Is it the glitter lid? Like, I don't know. What is, what is the strategy? What is She's the secret? stunning. Coco Jumbo, I can't wait to see more of you because I also did enjoy that energy. Oh yeah. That like, that kind of shady, which these queens are definitely yeah. on the shader end of the spectrum. Oh yes, 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 yes. But I like that, but I enjoy that. I mean, it's good TV. It's good TV, and that's what we want to see. Kita Mean, 34 years old from Auckland, New Zealand. Ketamine, ketamine. She came in with like this hyper bubblegum pop. Loved look. it. Loved it. Was fun. Loved her out of drag. Mm -hmm. Loved her out of drag too. Great teeth. Sweet. Up next, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, Twenty two from Sydney, Australia. Chest. Love. 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 A little Love. weird. A little goofy. Love. She did camp with a high glamour twist. Her little antenna fell, but you know what? That was brilliant. That was the one thing that I could relate to looking at her. Like, I could never look like that. I could never be that beautiful. Yes. But I was like, oh, your antenna fell? Things fall off me all the time. It's like, you know, when you swat the roach and it's still alive, mm -hmm. like, that antenna's gonna be wobbly. I loved it. Hang on. She's taking my boobie out. I'm just gonna take it out. Sorry, everybody. It's not real. Oh, now we see. Oh, that's so much better. Can you breathe? Yeah, they were hot. You cinched and then you covered your body with this child. I know, I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> well, I wanted the full mom experience. I wanted the like pain. The back pain. Women have to deal with a lot. We love you moms. Happy Mother's Day. It's just so nice that they can also take their Mother's Day off. is this weekend. It is this weekend. Did you get your mom anything? Um, I gotta send her some Godiva chocolates. Ooh, I love Godiva chocolates. Moms love Godiva chocolate. Yeah. I don't know what it is. That's why I love them. Because I love my kids and I love chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I love my husband, but he drives me crazy. Oh, <laughs> but that did good. Uh, what uh, are you sending your mother? She hooked me up with a uh, dupe bag person. Dupe? Like a knockoff bag person. I'm not sure how legal this is. Know. So I'll never say for sure that this happened. But um, I, I used him to help me find a bag that my mom would like. Okay. It starts with an L. Ends with a Vuitton. Familiar but with But like, that don't one. get it wet. Moms so love do... El Vuitton. Yeah. I love a dupe. Or though. Vuitton, Vuitton, whatever brand. Yeah, whichever one that be. you can afford. So if you are not at home with your mother, at least send her a picture of yourself looking good. Yeah. Like, the best you've ever looked. And mm -hmm. presentable to company, because she is going to show that picture mm -hmm. to other people and be like, this is who I am the mother of. And they do get into a competition about it, too, so... Send a picture to your mom. Yeah, she like for instance, she would never want this picture. Mm. She'd be like, "This is it was a mistake." And my great granddaughter Koala. Koala human baby. Human baby, Regine. Raina. Raina. Ray. Ray. Nah. nah. She doesn't Ray know her Ray. name yet, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I don't think she her could eyes hear us. Not shut. Up next, we had Anita Wiglet, thirty-one years old from Auckland, New Zealand. Anita is. Kit, 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 kita, kita, kita means boss? Kita means, no, partner. Partner. Like a business, business partner. partner. She was saying like, uh, I took my costumes in, so I took the coattails off, so she can't be here. So they were all laughing. And then Anita walks in, so then, is it kita? Like kita mean? Like, like kita mean, yeah. So then kita's like, oh my God, and they have to pretend that they didn't know that they were on the show, which mm -hmm. like... They're right on the job. Right. Them. And then Electra Q is their employee, is one of the people that works there. Oh. This is a yeah. small business scheme. What do you think of Anita? That that vibe, that energy, that presence. I was intimidated by it. Yeah. She's all her her face, she's always bit it's always a big It's always a smile. Smile. It's like uh it, it reminded me of like have you seen the mask? 
with Jim Carrey? Mm -hmm. That. Mm -hmm. She was that. She was masking the whole time. Mm. And I just wanted to like, I wanted them to skip ahead to the trauma moments because I just wanted to see her mouth close a little. Mm -hmm. But we never saw that. I feel like the bigger you smile and the longer you hold it, the more vicious you can be. Right? But behind the scenes vicious. Behind the scenes vicious. Because she well, absolutely. was so sweet. But sure. The whole time. But that was a that was a Maybe I'm giving an unfair assertion, but I'm no, like... No, that's what the show is. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Look at that smile. Oh. Oh. Did I just hear her whine? The little know. baby just whimper. She doesn't make a lot. Oh, no. Oh, no. They drew her. Uh, look at her veins. Oh, my God. The baby has veins. Well, because she has blood. Because the babies and humans have blood. Why is it so intense? Don't judge my baby, oh, I'm Koala. Sorry. I'm sorry. Granddaughter. <laughs> There's a giant blue vein running through the side of her eye. I thought I had a pin. Like, I thought I marked her up with pin. No! And it doesn't even go directly into her eye. It just I, I can't even look at her directly because something will enter me. Up next, we have Karen from Finance from Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. Karen? Melbourne. She missed her mark. Loved it. Mm -hmm. She ran right into the camera. Goofy. Goofy, goofy, goofy. I but like loved, that in I the... I love the energy. In the confessional, the fiery t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Guy Fieri. The Guy Fieri. That was our 10th queen, 10 queens on the season. I like it, keeping it clean, keeping it short. Yes, keep it very clean. RuPaul walks in the room, which of course, it's gotta be so exciting. Cause Woo! like finally, RuPaul! you get to see RuPaul. She's RuPaul! Right in front of you. Yes. RuPaul Charles. RuPaul Charles! Mm -hmm. Exactly. We learned that the mini challenge, they're going to have to act in a Thor funny, version of Thor. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't understand that part, but I don't watch movies. Then they had the director of Thor, Taika... What was the last name? Oh my god. He's from, um, did y'all see that movie with Scarlett Johansson? No, she wasn't playing an Asian trans man. She was playing, um, a Nazi woman, or like a Nazi. She hated Nazis, but could have been one. Anyway, he played Hitler. What is that movie? Jojo Rabbit. Cor so he was Korg in Thor. Taika Waititi. Yes, very hot. And he also directed it, yes. Jojo Rabbit was so good. Did you see Jojo Rabbit? Mm -mm. He plays Hitler. Oh! He plays a gay Hitler who like lives in the mind of a little boy. Interesting. It's really, okay. it's a really good movie. I'll check Even it. Even Scarlett Johansson, although she's playing a white woman, which is just not her natural state. No. It's, it's good. She's a Pacific Island gal. Yeah. Very hot, by the way. Taika White. Very hot. Yeah. Loved, though, that he clearly wasn't live. He clearly no. wasn't there. And, they and he said, clearly does not care. No. So they said, we just want a bunch of reactions out of you. And the first reaction they used when she's like, what do you think of that, Taika? The reaction they used, they included the dead space before it. So she asked him a question and he goes, I love it. I was like, could y'all... Can y'all edit it down? Wake up. Let's make it realistic. Wake up. Oh, sorry. I just wanted her to wake Who up. wake up? Them? Yeah, just somebody. She's really hot. This is like hot. You can drop her. No, I already took my tit out. Okay. I love a new mini challenge. They're yes. all so excited. So, of course, like, cool. The one that made me giggle, though, was Maxie Shield. She gets there and Rue's like, all right, so we're going to do an acting challenge. And before we act, we're going to warm you up. Show me how you orgasm. That's the warm up? We, well, I, I, doesn't that warm you up? I mean, that's like, that's a 10. I thought a warm up would be like, she's how she's short, she's slut. Me, me, my, mo, mo. Yeah. I, a, e, o, But she's like, let me see you come. If, if this one oh, were she here. Loved it. If this one she, were oh, here. Oh, she would've loved it. She, you would've loved this. Okay, the pit crew, super hot. So, wow. So hot. Wow. Wow. W unreal. Bald daddy, I would want a long term sexual relationship with. Big beefy, I would like one night. One night, yeah. 30 minutes. Break my heart for a little bit, move on. Move on. I'm but over the daddy, it. he'll take care of you. Yeah. And those pecs, I'm oh. telling you. Is that what, uh, pectorals. It it's, is a sign of safety. Come it's rest It's something on I can it. grab onto during an earthquake. You know all those earthquakes we have here? Yes, <laughs> yeah. the Chicago earthquakes. Let, absorb the shock. Jojo sees them and she's like, oh, I'd love to colonize their colons. Mm, interesting choice of words. Now listen, she's she's made it very clear, and I love it that she is an Aboriginal person, and she's bringing that point of view to the show, and I love that. So making a colonization joke, it's funny, power. yes, very good. Colonize their colon. Their colon. 
What does that mean? You move in? Uh, to take over, to put a new flag down. But boom, this is mine oh, now. Oh, her flag. Okay, that makes sense. I take it back. JoJo, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Did you know that Texas was owned by six different territories? And that's why six flags over Texas. Did I already state this fact no. on the show? Six flags over Texas is referencing the six different Shut up. Uh, territory said it was owned by Spain, France, the Republic of Texas, well, the Texas United States, huge. Mexico. Texas is huge. I mean, I don't want to get into any big political thing, but I will say it should be its own country. We'll, we'll saw it out and push yeah. it out into the Gulf. Push it into Mexico and say, we're so sorry about this. But I don't think Mexico wants it either, so I no, think no, we yeah, can we'll just, just think it's... We'll, so, well, there's the Rio Grande, so there is some water that you can... Yeah, there's a little bit of Push water. it out that way. Push it out the Rio Grande. <laughs> um, yeah, what? Oh, okay. The winner of the mini challenge is Electroshock. Yeah. For just committing to that unhinged behavior. Which I think surprised a lot of people, mm -hmm. but you don't have to, like, be the best looking drag queen to be good at a challenge. You just have to be the most relatable. Yeah. And when I saw that screaming, I was like... I've done that. I, I want to do that right yeah. now. Yeah. So they move back into the workroom and they're de-dragging, revealing who they are under all that. And we get a couple people who kind of became the official commentators, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And... Coco Jumbo. Coco Jumbo. Mm -hmm. Coco Jumbo just seemed to be kind of there as like... I'll kind of laugh at your jokes, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. I was like, a mean girl. She was like, I think she's going to be hot. I think she's going to be nasty. Like, oh, that's a 180. I did not expect that. I did like, though, how she said that Maxi looks like a truck driver out of drag and looks like a truck in drag. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. That's good. That's funny. That's good. Keep it. That's funny. But she's like, I'm the youngest queen. They won't take me seriously. And then she gets in the workroom. room. She's like, I'm going to be an asshole, et cetera. Let her. I was about to say act your age, but you are, so but, yeah, that's geez, fine. Never mind, keep old. going. Electroshock. They were even surprised. They were mm -hmm. like, I bet Electra's well, uh, with that face. And then they were like, oh, I think Electroshock is very handsome. Yeah. There's also like a cool, relaxed vibe about her too. Like, yeah, I don't care. Well, we saw that in her makeup. Oh! Chan! What? So they're in the workroom and their main challenge is like a ball? Yeah. Yeah. A ball, born naked. Which Shea Coulee did perfectly, and oh. could, no one can really do anything. So we, we can just top that. yeah, we're really just going for second place, and then uh, no place like home. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? From? Uh, don't ever ask that to a person, anyone. And yeah, yeah. Oh, where are you from? from? Oh, oh, well, oh Houston. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> well, you, you know Texas, but Houston. I've heard of that. So it's the next day, and they're doing their makeup, so they get ready for the ball because mm -hmm. they don't really have to prepare for this one. There's no mm -hmm. like build your own outfit or whatever. And so they're getting ready and we hear from Jojo that she lived on a mission. And Art asked what a mission was and she said it's basically like a concentration camp for black people, which was like, oh, you had to get permission to leave. They wouldn't let you go into town. As Americans, we obviously are dealing with a lot of racist bullshit because we are a white supremacist country, but we don't know a lot about mm -hmm. other countries. Yeah, I honestly didn't. Yeah, this I was a learning know. moment. I really felt for Jojo as a hoe because I was like, oh man, this is, it's, okay, part of me was also like, they're already revealing this. Does this She's mean this is yeah. the episode for her? I think exactly. No, I, I don't yeah. want this to happen so early. But I'm so glad that somebody pushed Art to ask the question or, you know, however it happened. Mm -hmm. Because I am glad that it, that it was said. And it was something throughout the entire episode that everyone kept saying was like, I'm so glad you're giving us this message. Like, it's so important to get this message. Mm -hmm. I also think that she's also do some joy, do some fun. Yeah. Well, this episode didn't prove to be much I fun know, I but know. But maybe the first part. Maybe the first part maybe was Maybe she really did fun. have fun walking in, yeah. She walked in, she was like, this is fun. This is no, fun. No, this is fun. And then, yeah. Yeah, then she went we also learned that Kitta had a gastric sleeve surgery. Yeah. She lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. She had been a larger queen her entire life. Mm -hmm. And so she just recently has had to kind of learn this new body. Yeah. It's Imagine a, that. Imagine yeah. that, like your entire life, 
you're one size and then suddenly your body completely changes. Mm -hmm. Even if it, if you feel like it's for the better, that'd be a mind fuck. And this is like a corny thing to say, but say I'll it. say it anyway. But say like, it. The, the power of drag. Oh shit. What drag does to the body. Oh shit. I, people go through it ruins uh, your gender penis. journeys. Oh, it mm -hmm. ruins your home. It clutters your house, but it also puts you through like a personal journey of like your identity and like self-perception. And yeah. when you get in drag, you are putting on something that you want to be perceived in and people see a, a totally different or an expanded version of you. And it's so cool for her to share her story with us. Yeah. Of how... Whatever decision you make for your body, that is your decision. And had she decided to not have the surgery, had oh, she yeah. decided, whatever she decides, mm -hmm. super happy for her. But just glad that she has a support system around her as yeah. well. And you do you, bitch. You do you. Bitch. Bitch. And then we get to see a little moment. We get to see, this is what I was talking about, where Anita seems extremely nice because they ask, hey, Anita, if you and Kitta are in the bottom tonight, who's going home? Mm -hmm. And Anita goes, well, it depends on what the lip sync song is, which was like a really nice, whatever. I'm like, Kitta, if it's between the two of you, who's going home? She's like, Anita? Maybe she is like just really genuinely nice. Like maybe if you open her up, it's just marshmallows. Do you know what marshmallows? Okay, I learned this because we had marshmallows on our mukbang. Mm -hmm. Do you know that marshmallows are made from pork gelatin? I did not. So know I that. should not have been eating them. I didn't know it, they weren't vegan. No, but I did. I did have diarrhea, that so that's on me. That's sugar. on me. Okay, I think I've said this before on the show, but I don't like people that aren't from where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not okay to say. <laughs> Patreon only. Scarlett is putting her bodysuit on. Yes. Because it's naked. You have the breastplate. She mm -hmm. said, I'm going to have the body plate. Oh. And she blows her butt out. Back blown out. Can you imagine you get on Drag Race? You desperately want to be on Drag Race. How much money did she spend on that suit? And then she puts it on. You're about to go on the runway for the first time. And your butt's blown Busting out. Busting it. Now, I've had my butt blown out before. But it's something I was prepared for. Mm -hmm. That would freak me the fuck out. Getting in that suit must be... Oh. Is lube. You have to... Lube. Lube or is it powder? Did you know that I always thought that... Oh, is it? I think you have to powder your arms and legs to, like, to make it, like, smoothly get in there. I powder my front and back whenever I'm, like, putting on that titty bib. That Show I hate, that I don't wear anymore. Well, oh. this is, these are the chicken cutlets. Oh. But I hate Will you put powder on those? No. Oh. I did, did you, did you know? Uh. Wait, what were we talking about? Her bodysuit. Lube. I first having this conversation the other day, I can't remember with who, and they were like, I thought lube was just like a gay guy thing. Like I thought only gay guys used lube. Mm -hmm. I did too. Cause I, I did not know, cause Christian, I had no sex uh, education. Right. And then when I started to practice, if you will, it was only dicks. So I, you know, I had heard all the, all the rumors. So I thought like they, I thought they made lube for anal sex. And I always thought that was so strange that stores would carry it because i was like well you don't like gay people but you have our butt juice mm -hmm. turns out everyone uses lube everyone uses lube everyone needs the to more use you lube but she got it together mm -hmm. she tried to staple it lol and then she sewed it <laughs> which and she had a good attitude about it i don't think i would have oh, to be quite honest i would have cried stapling it coco jumbo had the best line out of the entire show as far as i'm concerned when she said oh because as she started to sew it she goes she's serving c-section realness <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh and as a mother we laugh as a mother you as a mother laugh. because you have been there but look, you give up your body for your kids uh, it's more important because after you have one c-section in fact you you have to keep have going all yeah sections. okay patreon only Let's get into the runway. Oh, yeah. Out comes RuPaul. Now, riddle me this. Mm -hmm. Riddle me that. Mm -hmm. All stars sound that the queen is back or whatever mm -hmm. uh, I she said. That. So Ru is interviewing boy Ru. Ru. But yeah. Ru, RuPaul Charles. Ru is being interviewed by Ru. And I guess she's setting herself up to just relax for the rest of the season is that what this is okay my thing was she was like yeah my makeup got lost blah 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 which like which is is the word on the street 
uh, or I don't in Australia do they have uh, on the kangaroo path, on the other side of the yeah street. I don't I don't know exactly what they do uh, well the toilets counterclockwise yes do you know that no but way she yeah you lying no I'm not you lying Mary have you not watched The Simpsons that's how I learned is it is that real yes is it real when they flush the toilet it well, goes the other the way we really do need to watch Crocodile Dundee okay. You'll for the culture. It. Okay, You'll great. I can't wait. She said that she, her makeup got lost in transit. And so I guess the first episode she did it out of drag. So they, she got in drag and filmed that later on. My question is, like, let's say I'm buying your story. I'm buying your story, Rue. Mm -hmm. I know that they're in a tight shooting schedule. So perhaps she did like literally come in the day before or whatever. They have makeup in Australia, right? What are you insinuating? They have high end makeup in Australia. They may not have the exact brand that she uses, but she could have bought makeup. I was wondering if what she meant by lost in transit, like her makeup was lost in transit, Raven. Like maybe Raven missed maybe her flight Raven or something. Missed a flight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then who did her makeup for the... No, so the, the her in makeup, I think she filmed days later. It was just really bizarre to me because all of these girls are coming on stage in makeup they bought in Australia. Mm. And then you're like, well, I didn't have any makeup. I don't know what's going on, but did I gag? Yes. And I did kind of lose my mind every time she made herself laugh when they'd laugh at each other. Yes. How? So this is how you remedy a pandemic situation, sure. I know something happened. Should we get into these looks? Yes. Okay. The category is in your own skin. Born naked. The category is born naked. Because she's got a song with that in there. So. Oh, so we're plugging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like Fight the franchise. Choose. And up first we have Miss Scarlet in the nude bodysuit. She played that well. She did. She didn't have to show the bust of backside. She did. I mean, you could see like the C-section scar, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it just made it look like she had a really bad surgeon. Can I say this? Mm -hmm. Controversial yet brave? Let's hear it. I was a little underwhelmed by that bodysuit on stage. Seeing her put it on in the workroom and blowing that bussy out, I thought it looked like, oh wow, that's really impressive. But on the runway, it just looked like, okay, but what else? You put on a silicone bodysuit. I feel like that's also normalized to us. Like we might've seen something like this already before, but- And we, we see titty bibs all the time. We see titty bibs all the yeah, time. We you know see what? like silicone. That's what, it is. what does the average viewer, what is the average Australian viewer? Or New Zealand. See, or New Zealand. Down under viewer. What does the average down under viewer see? Well, they see a lot of nature shows because they live in nature. Like they have spiders everywhere. And then she had the little hair. Yeah, I thought it was, she had a pussy. And a little pussy hair. Is this allowed? In Australia. Sure. I'm telling you, Crocodile Dundee, it'll blow your mind. Up next, we had Maxi Shield. She had on a sheer kind of raincoat. Loved it. Uh, big boobies. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. What a what a brilliant way to do it. Mm hmm. I loved it. Showing skin, very maternal. Very but cute. Still sexy. Sexy cute. Great job. Loved it. Up next, we had Electra Shock, a tribute to RuPaul's football gear. Yeah. Shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. pads. Football mm -hmm. shoulders. Can I say something controversial yet cowardly? I loved it. Oh, I didn't expect. That's to, okay. I didn't expect to love it, and and I know that the Reese, the Twink, mm -hmm. commented like I didn't think that it really read as nude illusion. I mm -hmm. was like, what what football player are you watching? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a really good look for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I think the kind of punky hair and everything. It worked with, with what she does. Yeah. I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. I thought her body looked great. I was into it. I think it's a good look. Yeah. Up next, we had Coco Jumbo. Eye, eye, mouth, bracelet, bracelet. What? Earring, earring. Ear oh, earring. That's what that was. See? Mm -hmm. What was your initial reaction when she walked out? I thought it was cool because it's like... Same. Eye and mouth. Like, I, I love that. I, I have seen mouth. it, but I love it. I thought so, too. But then as she walked... And as it moved, I kind of see what the judges were saying. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it just... Oh, she's still alive. Okay, just making sure she's clocked in. That's a tough showing for your first showing. Yeah. But I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was terrible. I thought the, the earrings were a clever choice. Mm -hmm. I think that if they read more as like hoop, that I would have understood that, oh, those are earrings. Oh, right, right, you know right, I mean? right. Yes. Anyway, she, she brought what she brought. Etc. Etc. 
came out in, uh, she talked a little bit about like identifying as non-binary and how this was kind of like a expression of her gender. I loved it. Loved. I loved it. Gorgeous, stunning, art. I will say I saw on Twitter that a US Drag Race girl has done that exact look. Oh. I think it was, I don't remember. So people were like, oh, she copied blah, blah, blah. I don't know. If she did, who cares? Who I cares? Know. Whatever. Copy but schmoppy. I loved it. I loved her schmoppy. Mm -hmm. Up next, Jojo Zaho. She came out in a nude bodysuit with the bush. First Nation. She had her aboriginal. Yes. I think that made the entire episode so tough to watch because, God damn it, her message was like, it just, even as someone who doesn't fully understand, it felt so important. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like, you felt like, oh good, she's coming out. Good, I cannot wait to hear what she says about this, because like, I want to hear that perspective. But it, it just, we've seen, like, it yeah. was so simple. Mm -hmm. It was so, and you could, s the seam in the middle of her, yeah. it looked like her C-section was too high. Up next, we got Karen from Finance, came out in like this gorgeous 60s mod mumu, took it off. Bikini. Bikini, took that full, off. Full body suit, rhinestone yes. body suit. Yes. Fully rhinestone. Was it rhinestone? Was it yes. glitter fabric? It was shiny. Yes, shiny. It was full shiny and a shiny. Eye. And revealed the, uh, the, the tan lines. Tan lines. Clever. 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 Talk about polish. Talk polish. about intention. Art. Art. Oh. Well, I don't know. Well, don't Would know you that. put that in a museum? Mm. Intention. Theater. Period. Up next, we had Anita Wiglet came out in the Eve Illusion. It's something, I said it, I feel like I said it a lot last season too, uh, season 13. If, if you're going to do something that is so obvious, a choice, like who you're going to do nude. Oh, Eve, mm -hmm. like from the Garden of Eve. Mm -hmm. You gotta have a twist on it that is... True. I don't, I don't, it just didn't strike me as original in, in any way. But it was, it was well done. Like, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't fault the, the suit itself. I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't impress me much. There's, there's something about, like, the shiny red snake and then, like, the, the appliques of, like, the leaves looking like... Yeah the way they look. I don't know. Am I being mean? No, no, no. I mean, this is, again, in my homosexual opinion, so yeah. it's just our opinion. Is it wrong? Probably. I didn't like the bodysuit, but yeah, that's Yeah, I fine. just, if you're gonna do a very, to me, because Christian, it's very obvious, like, oh, a naked woman. Well, of course, Eve. She's mm -hmm. the only naked woman, mm -hmm. okay? It's the first, the only. I just want to, I want a twist. Yeah. Like, have, 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 okay. Yes, and. Yes, and. Have your nipples have tassels on them that are like apples. Like the apples ah. are hanging from her titties. And have the snake, she kind of was like, ooh, I have snakes everywhere. Have the snake like flop out of your pussy. Okay, like, well, not everyone has access to the Bible. Okay. That's yeah, something right. that girls would lore. We have, understand. To, we have to go on more trips. We have to help people. We, we need to spread God's message. We should be missionaries. Stop spreading God's news. Up next, we had Kidamine in her nude illusion, uh, the ball, the plop-up balls. The pink balls. balls. She kept pink saying balls. She, her pink balls. I didn't get it. 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 I don't get it. I applaud her because she did say she was so uncomfortable in her body, like showing her body. I applaud her for going out there, finding something that works for her. Yeah. I just didn't get it. I didn't get it. Um, loved the makeup. Loved the makeup, yeah. Didn't get it. I didn't get it. Like, is, is the category for nude illusion, should it include, like, nudity? Like, should we see some kind of, like, nibble covering, genitalia cover? Should, should it be contouring the body? Is it just a bodysuit with, like... Like, I think, you know what I, I mean? think they, so remember they did just the bodysuit in season seven mm -hmm. when unfortunately they sent Frisbee Jenkins home mm -hmm. and they gave them bodysuits that they had to like decorate, right? Am mm -hmm. I remembering that correctly? You're right. That proved to not be a great runway. That yeah. wasn't a great runway. So I like that they're keeping it open because one of my yeah. favorite parts about Drag Race is the way that the runway can be interpreted in so many different ways. Mm. But you know what? In the can ballroom. We limit the balls. In the ballroom. Oh yeah, that's if true. If we're talking about balls, the ballroom rule. Yeah. You have to fit the category. Otherwise, yeah. 
you get the job. Yeah, that's very true. You could be really polished, but if it doesn't make sense to the judges, one of them will throw you one of these. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to get one of those. You don't want to get one of those. Legendary season two coming soon. Oh, watch that. And then finally we have Art Simone in the half and half androgynous nude illusion. I loved this look. Loved. I agree with what Michelle said, which is like, we've seen this before, but it was so polished. Mm -hmm. You were naked mole rat on one side. Ugh. Looks so good. It's what, you know, Karen and Art came in with big names and they really had to bring it. Mm -hmm. And they both did. She brought it. What a great start for both of them. Mm -hmm. That was part yeah. one of the ball. Born naked. Born naked. Now no. let's put some clothes on. Now let's it's a see Christian show. Now where are you from? From this is a uh, what is the category? What is the name of this category? This is no place like home. No place like home. Yeah. No place like home. Right. Up first we have Scarlet coming out as a black swan. A black swan. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Very pretty. I don't know. Oh. oh I, don't know. I think they might. Get... I don't know. Why did your voice go up? Well, I, I feel like we've seen this before. I feel like we've seen the, the arm and whatever. Like, her face, her hair, like, nothing really related to the black swan. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Up next, we got Maxi Shield coming in as a prawn. Ah! Uh, a prawn. So. So good. Fun. So cute, delicious. Glamour. Uh, Lawrence Chaney. Lawrence Chaney. Reminded me of Lawrence Chaney because Lawrence Chaney did that same kind of silhouette and it had mm -hmm. big, campy... I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I'm a big fan of this. She threw her head off so you could suck the juices out. <laughs> I loved it. Well, that's the best part, too. Up next, we had Electra Shock. She came out in a Pride mess. Apparel. A mess. Okay. Well, let's talk about this look. It was a mess. Um, she said that it was because you have to love and the land and the, it was a mess. It looks like four or five different pieces glued together. Yes. Yes. That's what, that was exactly what Curtis said. He's like, it looks like she put on four different outfits. Yes. You gotta, sometimes you gotta take some stuff yeah, off. Some, less is more. Less is more. Yeah. That's what they say. Up next we had Coco Jumbo. Coco Jumbo came out as, <gasps> is this Miss King Kong? Yes, Miss King Kong. Uh. Uh. Loved it. Yes. Because they have a big banana where she lives. Mm -hmm. So she ate a banana. Oh. I loved I it. I loved it. Yeah. She looked gorgeous. I loved the hair choice with it. I thought it was such a glamorous King Kong. Mm -hmm. Climb my building, bitch. Mm hmm. Is this King Kong? Yes, Miss King Kong. In my kingdom with my Tims on. How many championships? Six rings on. Up next, et cetera, et cetera, came out in this gorgeous mm -hmm. silver blue. It was like her ro the roadways in her town that uh, I guess are, are pretty famous, which I thought was like such, so brilliant. Can I say, unfortunate choice though, that this look had to be paired with her nude look. Because it looked like, yet again, another nude look. Mm. Right? That was the first thing I thought was like, oh, this doesn't have the like oomph because we just saw you do a nude look mm -hmm. and then you came back out in sort of a nudish look. It's not distinct enough. Also, right? to have to be explained that it represents the road. Oh no, I thought I'm into that shit. You like that? Are okay. you kidding? Do you know how many Transit Tees products I bought because they have the train lines it's on them? Transit Tees. Get your Transit Tees today. I can't, I, I need to remember what the back was. I'm going to show you a map. You've never seen a map. You're too young. I'm going to show you a map. I'm going to show you a map when we get out of here. Map awareness. Up next we had Jojo Zaho. She she said she was channeling Marie Antoinette. Yes. She had this strong like Aboriginal, of course, continuing on telling her culture, her story. Loved. And then she took a sign out. And mm -hmm. actually, I got... Oh, you got a sign? I got an Instagram DM from someone down under mm -hmm. who helped explain the phrase Thoriel on Instagram. Mm. So Jojo Zaho's message on her outfit said, always was, always will be, which is a snip message of the statement, always was, always will be Aboriginal land, which we chanted during June of the Black Lives Matter March in Melbourne, mm. related to solidarity towards our indigenous black community. I hate that, spoiler alert, I hate that we lost her voice so early in the mm -hmm. competition. Mm -hmm. I don't disagree with the judges. Like, yeah, the message is important, but you're in a competition, you've got to bring, 
you got to make sure it's all together. Mm -hmm. And I, I agree with them that all of her looks just weren't quite finished. Yeah. But fuck, it sucks to lose It does her. suck. Because now we're losing the history. And it's so important to keep that with us. The history, uh, yes. But also the current shit that they're dealing with. Yes. Like, you know that, that textbook image of that manifest destiny girl that's just like leaning forward and just like wagons. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. In the McGraw Hill textbook. I'll send it to you. Image right here. She's a bitch. <laughs> go, go back the other way. Fuck you. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I needed to say that. Thank you for saying Someone had to. As someone had to. Someone had to. You McGraw Hill wasn't going to stop her. No. McGraw Hill loved it. But she made all the outfits herself, which yes. is very impressive. I just, I wish she was able to have more support. Mm -hmm. Love you, Miss Jojo. Love you, love you. Karen from Finance. Now she comes out as like this character, the drunk like white girl at the at the races. At the races. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really fun. Really fun. Really fun. Really fun. A character choice. Cam. Really funny. Campy. Yeah. Up next we had Anita Wiggins. Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, this reminds me. It is fun to make fun of people. It is fun even to make fun of a particular person who gets drunk at the the races, mm -hmm. right? Like, oh, a drunk mid-30s white woman. Mm -hmm. But like drag queens, and I'm guilty of it too in my past, let's let go of this like making fun of straight women in our spaces. They support us. Yes. They got us through school. They were our prom dates. And now they're supporting us fully in what we've, we're doing. Like the misogyny that we bought into, and I, I was part of the problem. I will absolutely cop to it. Let's get over that. Let's stop that. Stop it. Ooh. Tamisha Mon, she started. Oh she my said, God. So, so the conversation was coming up again because of what she said. Just uh, women, AFAB, perfect. Shut up, gays. I'll be honest, oh, like you, you're 10 years younger than me. When I first started going out to the clubs, when I moved to Chicago, that was like, that was a punchline that we all accepted. Yeah. We didn't respect women in our spaces. We also assumed all the women were straight, which is like queer women exist, shut up gays. I'm glad that we're, we're, we're moving forward, but like, let's move forward quicker. Sorry. Up next, we had Anita Wiglet. She came out as Mary's littlest lamb. Mm -hmm. uh, look, beep, beep. We we little bo peeped at the at the, the little bo teats. At the little bo teats. I thought it was a cute look. Even I did too. Her mouth too. was like this the whole time. Yeah. But I thought it was a cute look. Yeah. I wanted a little more. I wanted. A, it did feel like. Where is the like wink and nod that this is drag? It did feel like a child's Halloween costume. Mm. I wanted a little more. Why am I being so hard on Anita? Maybe um, I'm also, maybe there's, I'm fighting. You want to be her. I want to smile. Oh. Right there you go. Na, 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 na. I can choose happiness. I choose violence. I choose violence. It's a lot easier. Up next, Kidamine. <gasps> I loved it. You loved this look? When it came out, I was very confused. Mm -hmm. And then she explained it was a rugby outfit because they have rugby there. And then the number and on the back. And then you saw the number on the back. 69 30 for 35. Kidding. Do you like, okay, Patreon only. Up next we had Art Simone. Finally, Art Simone. Get out of here. She walked out as like the fancy lady shoppers. And then fancy lady shoppers. Shoot that! Now I'd watch that show. Okay, I would watch. I that was show. about to say, come on down. And then she flipped the coat out and the dress and the coat, and suddenly a hat came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. She was like the graffiti wall oh, art. Street art. Mm -hmm. Like ugh, juxtaposition. So cool. Both of her looks had kind of a a, a juxtaposition type thing. Yes. I yes, can't, yes, I yes. can't say I was a big fan of this yeah. look, and I was like, oh, she's going to win this first episode. They're going to give it to Art Simone. Same. I thought the exact Ooh. same thing. Welcome home. Hi, babe. What up? And that was it. That yeah. was the runway. That was the ball. That was the rough, 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 rough runway. runway. How's the baby doing? Let me see. There's a she new got another vein, vein every yeah. time. Well, because she's got to move she's the blood She's not blinking. She needs to blink. She doesn't have enough blood. She's trying to get the veins to her buzz. She go. Oh, and you feed her blood through your teeth. Yes. And that's what well, makes you I different. I have bloody gums. I need a soft toothbrush. <laughs> 
So top three, bottom three. Top was Scarlett, mm -hmm. Karen, right. and Art. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Bottom was Jojo, Electra, and Coco. Did we really think that Coco was in trouble? I don't think I did. No. Because even her first look wasn't terrible. And the second look was so good. I knew who, we knew who the bottom two were. Yeah, 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 we yeah, yeah. We knew yeah, who yeah. the bottom two were. But we didn't know who the winner was. No. I think we, dumb Americans, went into Drag Race Down Under expecting camp. And I think Karen brought polish with camp. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of set her over the top mm -hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. They do like camp. And I think Simone gives camp too, but Simone also, Art Simone leans into She does give camp. I mean, her, her camp was like when she walked in the room and she mm -hmm. was the um, art. Art. But the she said specifically she wanted to show a different side to herself. And she did, mm -hmm. but it may have cost her that $3,000 tip. Who wants to talk about that? Why do they get $30,000 when they win and a $3,000 tip if they win a challenge? It, it has what to be that? related to the government. Or... The Australian dollar is stronger than the American dollar. Well. So a hundred thousand of our dollars is thirty thousand of their dollars. That's what it is. You have to carry the kangaroo. One United States dollar equals no, one point two nine Australia. No, it is worth their money is worth more. It is, of course, because they they're better. Because they have a better economy. But it's not worth like as much. Oh, it's not well, three let's see how much that much. would be. Let's see, thirty thousand is. Thirty-eight thousand. So, like I said, a hundred. If you round up, that's a hundred thousand. Also, if you like include like the money that they got during the pandemic. Yeah, they're good. we got eighteen hundred over the last year. We did. We really did, and we deserved it. And we deserved oh, every it got last us penny. It, it got, got us through, through so many tight times. So we find out that the winner is Karen from Finance. She Yay. got three thousand dollars. Congratulations! Mm -hmm. Don't spend all that money in one kangaroo wig. hut. Oh, wig. The bottom two are, unfortunately, Jojo and Electra. Mm -hmm. We get a lip sync of the Bee Gees, mm -hmm. which loved. Love. We haven't had Love a Bee Gees lip sync, have we? Yeah, they're very gay. Very gay and very... This. <laughs> loved the song choice. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the lip sync? Oh my god. Helicopter split? I know that we've and all she's seen tall. before, but I love the helicopter. And she's tall and she had the sleeves. Yeah. Lost my mind. The outfit was ugly, but it was amazing. It was for a the performance lip -sync. outfit, yeah. Yeah. JoJo said, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to perform the hell out of that. Yes. And then you see the person on stage just shoving her pussy to the ground. You hear RuPaul freaking out. Even if you can't do it, like even if you can't shove your pussy on the ground, mm -hmm. then make a joke out of it. Pretend to. Because they made a joke out of them like being in front of each other, but Electra was really like, Hamming that up. And yes. then she was slamming her pussy. Like, okay, what would you do if you were in a, could, a lip sync split. and you saw someone helicopter split and you heard RuPaul screaming? How would and you? And I was the other person? Yeah, how would you unwrap uh, that? I don't know. Oh my god, earthquake. And then I, her exactly. pussy. I don't know. Yeah, you, you have, just to have to do something. You have to react to something. Because she's doing all this stuff and you're just kind of. I, yeah, it was very... What would clear. you do? Oh, I would look at her, like, surprised, and then I'd look up all nervously, and I'd go... And I'd slowly lower myself to the ground and very uncomfortably put myself in a split. you just pee running down the right leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I would be peeing. Oh, right baby. I would be peeing. Baby, 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 baby. So, unfortunately, we say goodbye yes. to JoJo Zaho. Sad, Sad. to see... Her go. The good ones go. JoJo's a ho. Okay, but damn, what a lip sync. Yeah. I was hyped. It was great. Oh. Well, and Electra said that she was a, a dancer at the beginning, and I was like, oh, now I get why she's pounding her pussy, because mm -hmm. she went to dance class. Mm -hmm. And that's what they, they teach you tap dance and pounding your pussy. Mm -hmm. That's the current Very, curriculum. that's the current uh, mm -hmm. meta. And then next week, bitch, Snatch Game. Not, already. Episode I guess two. Nine people. Yeah, there's only nine people, so that does make sense. But, ugh. So very excited for that. Who's gonna do Kylie Minogue? When is Kylie Minogue gonna guest judge? Isn't she supposed to be on this season? I don't know. I'm a. She's Australian, right? Yes. Yeah, I thought I'm a so. Big Kylie Minogue fan. Are you really? I love. Uh, What's your favorite that Kylie song? Fever, Come into my world. Come into my, my window. Oh. Come. Come, she says, "Come into Lapa, C O M E." Oh, okay. If don't this one her, were here, don't let her if this to one it. were here, don't let her listen to it. Do you have a Australian celeb fave? 
it's so, it's so embarrassing. It's such a white gay thing to say, an older white gay thing to say, but I want to eat Hugh Jackman's butt. Oh, rightfully so. And he's just getting better with age. Do I find him irritating that butt and is annoying? Ripening. Yes, but it is ripe. It is ready. I love it. I love how wrinkly his face is getting. I love the crinkles of the eye. I just think he's so hot. Come on over, Hugh, if you're watching the so show. Hot. Well, you know, he he's a big fan. He's a big fan of the show. So, whenever you're ready, just know that I will You have eat a your seat butt. at this house. You have a seat at the table. Before we go, yes. every week we have been asking for donations for different organizations, and every week you show the fuck up and we cannot thank you enough for that oh uh, uh, i'm sorry uh -huh. i'm sorry mm -hmm. i'm sorry i have to say this do not apologize when you send a tip will you send a tip and you say i'm sorry i can't do more this is all i've got right now first of all don't ever put yourself in a financial pickle because you want to give money to your favorite drag queens that's sweet but it's unnecessary mm -hmm. just your love is enough but if you're gonna tip us, which of course we appreciate, we do like to pay our bills, it's really sweet. Any amount you give, if you send 24 cents, if that's the amount that you had available that you felt was appropriate, thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't apologize. We love you. Sorry, that always no. just, it always gets to me when I yeah, see that. Yeah. I always go, don't, you're better, It's really you're sweet for them it. to give in the first place and just to give any amount, it's so sweet. And we don't, we don't ever, no. Wanna, wanna, no. 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 But so thank, thank you. you. So sweet. Thank you. So sweet. Thank you to the sweeties who gave to us and also specifically the people who gave to the Central Ohio Freedom Fund. We are just so appreciative that we were able to make a donation from IMHO because of you. So we need to scroll those names. So of course, while we're doing that, Chan is going to sing her favorite Kylie Minogue song. And okay. I'm gonna <clears throat> offer um, harmony to it. Okay. Take these lips that were lips. made for kissing, kissing, kissing. and these eyes that oh. were made for two. two. And these hands oh. that were made to touch, touch and it, touch it. feel you. Mm. Feel you, feel you. Oh, oh. I need your love. La, 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 la. There I need more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Come. Uh, okay, that's Come. not back up. I got. Oh, I'm sorry. This is like so much. How does she do that? that? Huh? How does she do that so much? At her uh, training. Age? For the past few weeks, every week we have been saying a new charity, raising for a new charity. This week, we are trying to get our finances in order. And so this week, we're going to take a week off. We got a, num a lot of numbers to crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. IMHO has blown up so much in the recent past that we just, we've been ignoring numbers. So, thank you. We will be back to another charity next week. Mm -hmm. But this week, we need calculators. We need, okay. If you have extra calculators, feel send some calculators. Send calculators. That's a bit. Don't, don't. Yeah, don't we have a PO we, box. And please. if we get TI 84s, I please don't do know it. what I'm going to do with no, it. No, I don't even have the manual anymore. Because isn't it what like are you finals to do week? That? You need it's to so use expensive. the calculator. You can remember, just get if you're taking your SATs, away. remember to be it's an it's an I'm in my 30s. I forgot to mine. I don't know how to do algebra anymore. The math section was horrid. Yeah. Mm hmm. Please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. If you're listening while doing laundry or driving, thank you. Uh, you don't have to look at me. Thank you. You can say thank you back. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back every week with Australian and New Zealand. We'll learn down under. You we'll see, see how it under. starts all the way up here? That's where the blood is. And that's fine. It's coming down to her eyes so she can shut them finally. Ooh. Look how tired she is. I have never peeled back her head skin that far. Head skin? Yeah, it's her head, it's her foreskin for her head. Oh. This is real. This isn't a costume. Foreskin you for your head. That's just foreskin. But with this forehead, I'll call it a five skin. <gasps> Don't give her a complex. She can't read. Then she won't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's true. I'm hurting her. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay, I've seen her both happy and disgusted. And it's her kind expression of changes because of how you feel inside. Think about one of the happiest moments of your life. And boom, look at her face. Why does she look so horny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Raina! She's 32!
Dolly's 32. This is Raina. I'm sorry. Does this look like a 32-year-old yeah, human? You put it in me. This is a bit... That's what you the koala did to Dolly. Mm -hmm. We gotta go. I'm sorry, Raina. It's okay. Oh.